Okay, that last game was really embarrassing, and I don't really want to end my day like that. So I'm just going to play my usual opening and see if I can just get some more or less normal chess in. Those games were pretty bad. Those last two games were pretty bad. My goal is just to win one game. The goal of this game is to focus and concentrate just a little bit more. That's my goal. Okay. Um, you know, I'm just going for it. I'm just going for it. I'm just going to go for the traits here. Actually, maybe this is more important. A little bit unfortunate. I don't have a way to reclaim this. It's fine. I can just... I don't really want to kick that. Um, kind of want to move this. Okay, no, I can't remove this defender because as soon as he does this, I open up the G file and then I just plain lose. Because that happens to me like every time. Uh, so I'm going to look for something else. But I do want to keep this knight defended. I don't want to go g5 with the pawn. I mean, this pawn is hanging at the moment. I'm not going to attack because I don't want to expose my queen here. He's already up a piece. Interesting, I guess. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. How can I punish this? What's it going to be? Abdel from Morocco. What's it going to be, man? I do have check and takes. Actually, I do think this is the play. Hey, tactics. Boys, we found some tactics. Hoorah. This saves a rook at least. It kind of evens out the board. Oh, right, but then he just defends. LOL. Um, let's see. I think the trade is worth it here because it'll force him to take with the bishop, and then I can um, salvage this rook. Uh, unless he takes this way. 
which he does. Oh, and this, this is still pinned. Haha, <laughs> lol. Um, but I can do this. Then what does he do? He just blocks. That doesn't do anything. Ugh, the pin. The pin is killing me. I thought I had such a cool tactic there. Oh well. Can't offer this trade. I mean, I can go here, but then he just blocks with the pawn, and then I lose my rook either way. Maybe there's something else I can do. This move just feels sad. Maybe I just don't care anymore about this. Really? Still pinned, right. Right, still pinned. Mm-hmm. So he has two hanging pawns here. Okay. I think these pawns are done. Yeah, good block there. Hmm. Do I go for this? Yeah, if I put my bishop here, this is... Oh. That is kind of check, but then at the same time... That would put me in check as well. I doubt he goes for this, but you never know. I have high hopes for this round. And I get another pawn here. Okay, so the board's even now, so I'm happy about that. What do you do in a... Oh, okay. Um, sure, I'll take that. You know, I would make fun of him, but the the truth of the matter is, I just like blundered my queen like two games in a row. So, I just push. I'm trying to take your guys' advice. There was um there was someone that told me um if you have this many pawns and you're up a bunch of pawns and the opponent only has one rook, you might as well just sack your rook um and then work on getting uh promoted pieces. So I think that's what I'm gonna try to do here.
keyword try. Okay. Maybe I should have attacked his uh his rook there, huh? I probably need to get my king a little bit more centralized here too. Okay. I don't think that did what he wanted it to do. I guess I just run this pawn up the board now, huh? What's the play here? This way or this way? I think it doesn't really matter, huh? No way. Okay. I think this is good. I can also move my rook since um, I'm protected here. I think I just snag this pawn, huh? I'm surprised he didn't go for that. Oh, I mean, I guess you can have that pawn. Here's what I want to do. No. Maybe I force his king to take like a useless move. I don't know. We just try stuff. Let's see. That will be check. Let's see. Maybe I just run this piece. No, I can't defend that pawn either. Feels bad. Okay, so if I go here, he takes. If I go here, he takes. But then I do get a rook. Hmm. He takes this pawn. Can't go there. I hate to waste two pawns here, but maybe I just create a wall. No. Well, let's see. This one's protected. This one's protected, so I can at least take this. You can you, you guys can probably tell that endgame is not like my forte. Interesting. I think what I should have done was put my bishop here to at least protect this pawn uh, this way. Okay, I was kind of expecting that. Um, I'll offer this trade. Yeah. Nice. Okay, now we just have one job. We don't have to, we just don't screw this up. All we have to do is just not stalemate here. I 
I'm going to go decrease my liabilities a little bit with this bishop move. I have one job, and that job is to not F up. Okay, do not stalemate this. Do not stalemate this. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, give me the satisfaction of the check, man. It's okay. Unfortunately, I don't have time for the rematch. Good game, Abdel. I was uh, really surprised. Uh, oh, wow, I had like mate and four here, mate and five. I guess I could have won a lot faster. Mate and one. Oh, just there, and he was cut off, sure. Um, yeah, that's probably a tactic for the advanced. But, um, D. Rael, I wish I could play right now, but, um, I gotta get back to other stuff. But, um, anyways, let's do the review. So, good move, good move, book move, book move. Sorry, I can't play right now, man. I gotta get back to other things. Let's see. Yeah, so the engine recommends g5 with the pawn, but um, to me that just seems really unnatural to open up the file in front of the king there. I missed a better way to capture a free knight. Oh, right, just with the king. That makes sense. So I should have left the rooks connected and just taken with the king. And that would have given me some more advantage. Yeah, good point. I mean, he played really well. I mean, he had what, three great moves? One, two, three. So let's see, this is a great move that pins the king that will eventually win material. Yeah, this pin was really frustrating because um, I wanted to move this rook. Okay, it's good to get your queen off the starting square. That wins material. Hmm. Was it not a better idea just to take this bishop on f6 there? Maybe that would have been the better choice, and then I would have had eyes. Yeah, you know, now that I see this position, um, I think queen takes there. And then maybe he would see, he probably would see it, but he'd probably, if let's just assume he didn't see it. Let's just say he goes for this. Um, and then he does, uh, I don't know, something else. I eventually had this fork. I think if I would've gotten my queen onto a green square like F6 there. But uh, yeah, I thought I was being really clever with this fork here. And I didn't really calculate the fact that he would block with his queen and then defend that square as well. So that was a good move by him. I think when he went here, what I should have done was taken the free pawn. Oh, just kidding. That's like really bad. <laughs> just kidding. Yes, this is the way. <laughs> what a commentary. I'm surprised he didn't take my rook a lot faster. I figured that would have been um, a fine trade. But he had a really big advantage this whole time. Yeah, what I wanted to do here was just unpin the rook, at which point he just captured, which is fine. I'm no expert, but I feel like he should have just taken that rook earlier. This defends the pawn. This permits the opponent to eventually win a piece, a pawn. Oh, sure. 
So I had um, capture pawn and then check and then another pawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really see um, this check and capture here and attack. Yeah. His bishop move. His pawn couldn't move, so how, I mean, he'd have to, and he would. He doesn't really have a great way to defend that either. I mean, if he goes e4, obviously the bishop just takes there. So, yeah, need to watch out for these types of tactics. I eventually saw it. I think I just saw it too late. Um, yeah, he kind of threw it away after this move, so he did blunder eventually. So I was just up five points of material there. He didn't want my trade. I thought I played the end game okay. I mean, the engine really wants him to uh, trade pawns there. I think why it wants him to trade pawns is so the pawns disconnect. Because let's just say, for example, takes, takes. Now the pawns are a lot more isolated. I mean, there's one, two, three, four pawn islands. So I think it would have been a lot harder to win with this position. So yeah, I agree with the engine. The engine is smart. Oh yeah, so just pushing a pawn here was the play because that sort of forces um, this type of thing. So he has to make a choice, run or get snagged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think a, a, a rook can do anything about this position, right? He basically has to go like here and then you go queen promotion, takes, takes. Yeah, okay. I think that's a learning lesson there. Hmm. Yeah, so pawn pushes, he does something. Pawn pushes. Ace A2 is defended. So he's forced to run, basically. And then even if he stays here, I mean, I don't think he would stay here, but... So he could take that, and then even that's a free rook. And then... He has to deal with this, and then another queen, or just a queen. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, good game, Abdel from Morocco. Thanks for the game, and uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.